Hey everybody, happy, happy Wednesday. Now I got it right. I keep thinking it's Tuesday. It is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, and Friday is my outing down to Sandia Park, and I will give it away now. <laughs> it is Tinkertown. Uh, look it up if you um, so wish to do so. Um, it is very interesting. I... I won't give away too much information about it. It is really hard to explain. Um, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's it's artsy, you know, it's it's just different. And you can look it up online if you want. Um, but anyway, Tinkertown, I'm sure we'll go out to eat. We, my my uh, parents wanted to take their friend, on, our friend on the Turquoise Trail, which is actually a longer drive than I thought it was. I think it's about 45 minutes to an hour something like that to um drive down there it's near albuquerque and um or near the aerial park aerial tramway which we probably won't do i'm sure we won't do i would do it but uh, long story there's some stories about things not going too well on the aerial tramway my mom told me about where people actually got stuck Overnight on the tram, there was something wrong with it. That is like scary that they got stuck overnight. They're okay, but uh, to get stuck overnight, like way up in the air, like on a tramway. <laughs> but anyway, I would love to do it sometime. I was told it's a must do in New Mexico. Um, and there, I picked, there is, I picked out a restaurant which, oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> brisket tacos there was one other thing on the menu um that i was interested in it's called the greenside cafe um in cedar crest cedar crest is a little community down down there down near sandia park um so when it said brisket tacos i'm like i'm there um and also uh there's a lot like down there is like where the Cibola National Forest is, which is uh, like a roller coaster ride through heaven driving through there. You just don't even feel like you're in, on this planet when you drive through there. It's just amazing that drive through the Cibola. And, and it's open now. I think all the rain really, really helped the fires, put out the fires, and which is really good news for New Mexico. We all were hoping for rain. We all need, we, we needed the rain. Uh, so bad so we finally got it but anyway the purpose of this video is to do this unboxing of this bocce ball set which actually can be played on any flat surface a lot of serious bocce players uh, build like if they have a backyard they build a pit uh, which I, I have a backyard, but it's actually not my own backyard. I share it with people. Um, so I either will put this on a mat or just do it. Well, no, I don't have, I really don't have a flat surface outside in my front yard area. So I could possibly do it on a mat, even, even inside. Um, I don't know. It's more fun played outside. It's really an outdoor game. Uh, great for summer. Um, I don't know. Have any of you ever tried? Have any of you ever tried it? Have any of you ever played it? I haven't played it in so many years. I tried it once, of course, outdoors. I had a lot of fun actually, and it wasn't a really difficult game for me. Um, it was just a lot of fun, so I thought I'd buy this uh, set. Now, all it is uh, uh, is a. Uh, this is the box. This is an unboxing. So this is the bocce ball box. <laughs> Um, and these are the bocce balls, two of them, red, and I have two yellow, two green, I think, oh, I might have, did I drop the blue one? <laughs> oh, geez, I might, oh, yes, I have, so I have eight balls, and these are, are they black or blue? I can't, my color <laughs> I don't know. I think they're blue, dark blue. Anyway, um, this is, now there's a name for this. I get, this is where the balls go in this bag. And it's called, now I have my glasses on so I can read this. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum. 
this. <laughs> this is the box. Uh, woo, now I can't see. Uh, it's called a Polino. It's called a Polino. So I have eight bocce balls and a Polino, which looks like a bag for like storing them or carrying them or something. Yeah. So that's the unboxing of the bocce ball set. Um, look forward to Friday. I look forward to Friday. I love the turquoise trail. I love the Cibola Forest. I don't know if I'll get to do any walking around or hiking. There are apparently some things to see for hikers if you go up like in the mountains. And I really want to do that. I don't know what, you know, my mom can't do a lot of walking because of, um, like she's in a lot of pain and stuff from some, uh, just from age-related uh, aches and pains and things like that. But uh, she can't really do, she sometimes uses a cane walking stick. But uh, she can't really do all that stuff, like the hike, is the rigorous hiking. I still can, even though I have arthritis. Um, I don't know about my dad. I don't know about their friend. I just, I'm going for the food, the drive, and to see Tinker Todd. I'm really, really excited about it. Really, really excited about it. And uh, it's something that I've, I've never really known much about. Um, but I, I've been, I've been curious about it for a long time, so I finally did some research on it when my mom said we might go there. And I just, it should be amazing. My mom's like, oh, well, maybe you wouldn't want to go, but we're going to go. I'm like, mom, she says, oh, maybe you would, because you'll like to go anywhere when the, when the, when the wheels start turning, you just want to, you want to go. So, yeah, that's basically, uh, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do Friday. We were originally going to do it yet tomorrow, tomorrow. And um, I guess now we're going to do it Friday. They actually, um, now I, I, I didn't know this, but they were all three of, let's see, two of our family friends, my mom and my dad. My dad would be the only male. They were going to the movies, and my dad and I don't know which one of our friends, but they were going to see the new Top Gun movie. Have, anybody, have any of you ever seen that? No. Now that was a classic movie for me. That came out when I was probably like 14 years old. <laughs> I love Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer in the movie and they're really studly hot guys. <laughs> so I'm sure they still are. And I love, I absolutely loved that movie. And that's what um, my dad and one of the other ladies were gonna go see. I, I don't, I. I don't remember what my mom and the other lady were going to go see. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what theater they're going to. We have a few theaters. We have a really nice one that I really like where I've seen, I don't know. I think I've seen two, two movies. That, no, three, I think. At least three movies there. Um, it's a very nice theater. You know, has the cup holders. Has, actually has source alcohol. Uh, food and they have a I think they have yeah they do have a dining area and bar and all that's pretty fancy I mean not like fancy like as an elegant but it's a little expensive but uh, yeah so that's what uh, that's what the plans are they're doing that today I didn't really have enough money to do it uh, after shopping yesterday I had some money left over I had to get some things today some paper towels and things um, so I really, I'm really tight on money. I just, uh, I, and I always forget. I make lists every week, like twice a week, and I still forget things at the grocery store. It's really hard to kind of stick to a list when you're trying to buy a whole bunch of things and stick to a budget. I still make them just to give me an idea of what's necessary that I have. So I'm glad I'm stocked up on the cat stuff. And it should be a good weekend. I, I don't know. I know it's 4th of July weekend. It's hard to believe already it's 4th of July. That feels like you're really halfway through summer. You're not halfway through summer. Actually, technically, summer just started a week ago. So. But there's just a lot uh, to do. There's there's quite a bit to do in Santa Fe. More do in Albuquerque because it's such a big city. But um, there will be plenty of surprises for me this summer. <laughs> I have a list of what I want to do. It's probably not going to all, I'm probably not going to all do it this summer. It's possible I can do some of it in the fall since we have warm weather into the fall too. Okay, well, I just want to do that unboxing. I wanted to let you guys know about Friday, that it is going to be on Friday and look forward to that. It should be pretty interesting. 
I'm looking for, I always like to try new and different things, and some things I will do repeatedly over and over again just because I enjoy them so much. So you guys all take care. Have a wonderful Wednesday hump day evening, and I will see you all real soon. All right.